For the second time, a former police officer accused of killing his wife and trying to cover up is trying to get out of jail. James Baldwin is charged in the 2016 murder of Judy Orr. Our South Carolina Bureau reporter Greg Suskin has been following the case from the very beginning, and he's live for us in Chester with the newest in the court battle. And there were more than 70 people inside this courtroom here today, most there in support of the family of Judy Orr and trying to urge the judge to keep her husband in jail. Judy Orr died in December of 2016 in what first appeared to be a car accident here outside Chester. Her husband, James Baldwin, was on the ground when state troopers arrived. He was kneeling on the side of the road and um, begging them to save his wife, save his wife. Orr's body was found in a creek, and investigators didn't think it looked like a car accident or any accident. We had highway patrol that determined that this was actually not a car accident, which led to a very suspicious ruling on their that happened in regards to what happened. Prosecutors believe Baldwin beat his wife to death at their Chester home and made up a story that she fell while hanging Christmas decorations and he had to rush her to the hospital. That's when Baldwin told troopers he'd wrecked the car. The coroner found she died from blunt force trauma to the head. I know without a question that this man before you was responsible for my mother's death. Joshua, one of Judy's two sons, asked the judge to keep Baldwin locked up, fearing he would try to harm their family if he was released. He is a man who has no value for human life, and I believe he will do anything to anyone who gets in his way. Baldwin was indicted for murder by a grand jury and denied bond during the first court appearance Channel 9 attended in October. He was denied bond again today and found competent to stand trial. And the judge said today he wants this case to come to trial before the end of the year. I did talk to both the Judy or sons here outside the courtroom today. They said they're just relieved. They don't have to look over their shoulder knowing this man will stay in jail. We're live in Chester. Greg Suskin, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.